Hello friends, already in my previous video I have discussed in detail about how to uh, get the impulse response of a system in MATLAB. You can check my previous video, I will post the link in the description, okay. So, in this video, let us try to understand what is the importance of step response of a system in by MATLAB, okay. So, suppose this is one system and you are providing unit step Suppose u of t in continuous domain and we call this unit step signal as u of m in discrete domain, right? Whatever response you are getting as output of a system, when you give unit step as input, that is going to be your step response, okay? That means same, uh, the definition is almost same like impulse. This difference is here you are applying unit step as input and what you are going to observe, what is the output corresponding to uh, the input signal uh, which is basically step signal now you already know what is the importance or significance of getting impulse response now try to understand why why we try to compute the step response of a system so this is one uh, obviously unit step you can understand from the basic concept of signals and system where the definition is like this fx equal to 0 if 0 greater than x and 1 if x greater than equal to 0 right that means what is happening here, try to understand, suppose this is x and the y coordinate is f of x, okay. That means whenever x value is less than 0, this, this point is x equal to 0, okay. So this is x equal to 0 and any uh, point which is situated in the left hand side of x equal to 0, that means for the points, see take any point here. So for this point, it is obvious that 0 greater than x or x less than 0, right? x coordinate is less than 0. That means it is negative. So it will become 0. The amplitude in that case will be 0 and 1 if x greater than equal to 0. That's what unit step is, right? So what is the importance of this? Why we try to find the output when we provide step response? Because you already have seen that impulse response uh, try to give us about idea uh, what, that what the output will be uh, for a LTI system, right? For any output, uh, we, uh, for any particular input, we can have an idea about the output if we know the impulse response because by convolution of x of n and h of n, we can have an idea of output sequence y of n. Now see, this is impulse, right? So at n equal to, at n equal to 0, the amplitude is 1 and for all other values of n, it is, the amplitude is going to be 0. That's what impulse signal is. But see, here unit step has its own benefits. You might have studied control system and there you have studied two types of response. One is transient response, another one is steady state response. So I am not going to the, that, that much detail. Just try to understand intuitively. See, when x equal to 0 for a long, that means when amplitude, the f of x, that is signal amplitude is 0 for a long time, there is steady, one steady state. Whenever it is getting jump from 0 to 1, that means in that case, the output may go like this and then it takes one certain steady state value, right? So this part, when it is, at, uh, when there is a jump from 0 to 1, for the input, what is going to be the output that is called transient response, right? But the transient response, sometimes we know, need to know to understand the behavior of a system and the steady state response also. That means from the unit uh, step response, what we can understand, we can get two type of response. One is transient response, another one is steady state response, which sometimes help us to understand the behavior of the system, okay? So for this, that there are two components, one is transient, another one is steady state. But see, the impulse response has nothing like that, right? And moreover, for another reason, we uh, try to take step response also. In practical, we cannot find impulse response. That is, for a, for a particular value, n equal to 0, it, it, it is taking amplitude, and for all other values, it is getting 0. This cannot be found in practical, right? So that's also, we prefer uh, step response. Now, in MATLAB, how to compute the step response? Very easy. If you understood how to, if you understood how to compute the impulse response, see this was the code for the impulse response. I already explained in detail in my previous video. Just I am going to show you the impulse response plot. So control A, evaluate. 
selection see this plot we have got for the impulse response of the system that means whenever we have provided input as delta function what output we are going to get that is this okay now to get this step response no change just this equal to equal to you have to do greater than equal to what i have done that means that means just i have given input for the unit step there is x for n greater than equal to 0 n greater than equal to 0 this is again this operator you know if this condition satisfied the value will be 1 for all other values it is going to be 0 that means this is one line code to generate the unit impulse uh, if sorry unit step sequence if you don't believe i will show you n equal to suppose minus 20 colon 20 already i have explained uh, how to generate unit step in matlab but again i am showing you just for your easily understanding purpose so n greater than equal to 0 stem n comma x okay so let me show you evaluate selection see as soon as uh, the time sample value becomes 0 or higher it is taking amplitude as 1 and for all other values uh, that is for left hand side values it is taking 0 that is this is unit step so what we have to do we have to pass or filter the unit step have uh, this system right which is defined by the numerator and denominator coefficient this is same system i have taken as we have taken in our previous video so control a evaluate selection see this is the step response uh, which we are going to get uh, for this particular system which we defined in our previous video so this is how you have to uh, get the step response in matlab and this is all for my this video you, you just keep this concept in mind that step response means whenever you are providing step signal as input what is going to be output for that system and by this you can easily write the code i will post the same code in the description of my this video so that you can easily take from there thank you for watching